My name is Brian Lamro, one of the pastors here. I want to welcome you to Journey Church. If it is your first time, thank you so much for taking a part of your weekend to be here. Can you do me a favor? Can we welcome all those that are watching online right now on our iCampus all around the world? Thank you so much for coming out, being a part of our finale. This is, believe it or not, week four. Everybody put up a four. Week four and our final week of one prayer. Can you believe it's already been four weeks? It, uh, they all fly by. But let me, before we jump into our message today, let me share with you a little bit about what's going on with the one prayer. Um, just uh, as of yesterday, there were 777,000 believers joined together for this one series all around the world. Is that not incredible? Just under a million people joining in, in heart, uniting together, and, and allowing the Spirit of God to, to bring us together for certain subjects to begin to chase after the heart of God together. How many of you guys know that that's going to be important as we get ready for God to come back and get ready for His his second coming. So it's important that the churches are working together, and that's why we take part every single year. I think this is year three that we've participated in, but as we close out this week, I want to talk about unstoppable faith unstoppable faith. We've had some great subjects over the last uh, few weeks, but I want to leave us out as we get ready to go into a new series. You guys saw his story about changing history, being history makers. I want, to I want God to come in and touch our hearts and begin to increase our faith today. Increase our faith. I believe that as Christians, whether we're a brand new believer or whether we've been uh, born again for a very short time, I believe that we can live our lives out sometimes in a way that is just kind of flatline, where we, we understand what faith is and we begin to live out what our faith is, but we're not really increasing our faith and allowing the Holy Spirit to go to work on our behalf. And so that's what today is really all about. So if you would turn your Bibles to Romans chapter 3, we're going to look at uh, a couple of letters from the Apostle Paul this morning as we talk about faith and where it comes from. We know that there are not necessarily different levels of faith, but I do believe that there are different types of faith that you and I may have today and that we've experienced through the power of Christ at work in our lives. You know, if we look at Romans chapter 3, the type of faith that Paul is talking about in these scriptures is the type of faith to believe in God, to come unto salvation, to understand that Christ is the only way to heaven. So as we look at Romans chapter 3, you can log on to uversionlive.com right now and follow along on your smartphone, on your uh, PDA device, or if you've got old school right here, how about it, old school? Who's going old school today? Lift them up today. Look at that. If you don't have a Bible, let me encourage you, bring it, bring a smartphone, bring something to get connected so that you can follow along with us. For all those that forgot this morning, we'll have it on the screen for you. This is what Romans chapter 3 says, is this. So about God's righteousness through faith. Verse 21, but now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God through faith Faith, everybody say faith, faith, in Jesus Christ to all and on all who believe. For there is no difference, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Now, what I want you to do is scoot down. I want you to go down to verse 28. This is one of our key verses for today, and it says this. Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by what? Say it aloud, by faith, apart from the deeds of the law, or... Is he the God of the Jews 
only that this is we have been justified by faith alone what paul the apostle paul is saying right here is that you and i the very foundations of our beliefs rest on this word faith how many of you guys know that that each and every one has faith today that we believe that jesus christ was born of a virgin died on a cross he now is resurrected seated at the right hand of the father and because of that faith in christ in our foundational beliefs you and i are born again today that you and i have right relationship with god now this is a type of faith not only does god give us this he gives each and every person every man every woman and every child a measure of faith do me a favor turn over nine chapters to romans chapter 12 and i want to read this scripture to you that talks about the measure of faith that you and i sitting in this room if you're born again today you're born again to the spirit of god that god has placed inside of your life romans chapter 12 verse 3 says this for i say through the grace given to me to everyone who is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think soberly as god has dealt to each one a measure of what a measure of faith let's pray heavenly father we thank you for this morning we thank you god for this unstoppable faith that you desire that every person has lord jesus that would declare that you are their god father i pray that in this place that you would awaken us to your moving of your spirit in this place today right now lord i I know that each and every one of us are on different paths different journeys and lord we each find ourselves in a different place with you today but lord i pray that right now by the holy spirit of god that you would quicken our spirits that you would awaken us to what you would have your word speak to us today Father, I pray that the words of life would come off of these pages, come off of these screens, and come alive in our hearts, that we would live these things out, not just to be hearers only, but but to be doers of your word today. So Lord, right now, I pray that you would open up every eye, open up every ear, open up every heart, that Lord, that when we hear about this faith, that you want us to walk out. God, that you, by the power of your word, would inspire us to live lives that are set apart, vastly different than anything else. We love you, God. We thank you for your word. We thank you for all that you are. We ask it in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, amen. Amen. Now, I talked about faith. And I don't believe that there are different levels of faith, but I do believe that we operate in faith in different ways. Let me explain. I believe that we have been given faith, a measure of faith to trust God at his word, to understand what salvation is all about. God has given us a measure of faith to come into right relationship with him. But how many of you guys know, if I were to say, I w- I'm walking out in faith, maybe I'm at the house, and, and it, how many of you guys know it takes a different level of faith to turn on the light switch and to believe that the lights are gonna come on, Right? In our lives, think about, think about faith. You know, we walk to our car, we start it up, and it takes a level of faith to get that car cranked, like we're gonna turn it on and, and it's gonna start up, right? Maybe you forgot to put gas in it, maybe it's gonna take even a greater level of faith for those like Pastor Brian, who seems to have problems with uh, getting fuel into the fuel tank. If you've ever heard that boy's testimony, I'll tell you what, that boy runs out of gas every other week. I don't know what, somebody give that boy a gas card today. Somebody give that boy a gas card. But see, Pastor Brian has a different level of faith when he goes to his car. And I believe that God is causing us in this season and time of our lives that you and I would exercise to a greater measure the faith that God has given us as a gift. I think about my own life and, and, I, I, and I was reading the scriptures this week and, and I myself was challenged. You know, sometimes you think that the person speaking or the person giving a message or the person uh, re- running a small group or whatever it is, maybe they're operating at a different level. Let me tell you, when I read these scriptures this week, man, something happened. 
Something happened inside of my heart and in my life. And I pray that that same happening, that same stirring, that same awakening is going to happen in your heart and in your life today. I believe that the Spirit of God would speak to each and every one of us today that we've got to live outside of our comfort zones, outside of our pride, and outside of ourselves, and that He would cause us to live in a whole radical way for Him. And that's what today is all about. It's understanding that God wants us to live outside of what we can do in the natural and believe God for the supernatural that He wants to bring in our lives uh, there's, no, there's no better place to talk about faith than, than as we look at Hebrews chapter 11. I know Donald um, let the cat out of the bag a little bit early, but if you would, turn to your Bibles to Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11. When we're talking about unstoppable faith, I, I think of a couple of words. I think of unstoppable faith being something like overcoming faith, victory faith, things that we need in our lives Faith that we need to exercise to see things in our life that maybe we just cannot believe God for. When we trust him at his word, we will see breakthroughs in those areas of our life. When I think about unstoppable faith, I'm talking about faith that passes all understanding humanly. And we believe to trust God for even bigger and greater than we could ever see or hope. That is the type of faith that I believe that the last church, the church of the last days needs to operate in because God desires to use people like you and me to reach the city, turn it upside down, change our workplaces, go into our schools, making a difference everywhere that we go. Hebrews chapter 11, we're gonna look at this and I believe that God wants us to look, you know, if you've been in church circles anytime, uh, you know, maybe a year, a couple of months or whatever, maybe you've read this scripture before. Hebrews chapter 11 is a very common scripture. Verse one is a simple definition. It's the biblical definition of faith. And that's what I wanna look at this morning. Hebrews chapter 11, verse one says this. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I'm gonna read that again. I want you to really let those words come off the page. Now what? Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So faith is when we trust in something that has not come to pass or we can't necessarily see it in the natural. It's when we say, God, I'm giving you my whole heart, even though Jesus is not here in physical form, we're saying, Jesus, I trust you, I love you, I sense your presence, I know who you are, that is the faith unto salvation, but how many of you guys know that our lives can be lived in this type of dynamic, in this type of realm, every day of our life? We can literally live out our life in a supernatural way where we're walking in faith and believing God every single day for things that cannot be done in the natural. Do you believe that today? Do you believe that today? I believe that with my whole heart. And, and like I said this week, I begin to, to think and I begin to almost be convicted in my life. And the Lord, the Holy Spirit just began to speak to me. And I begin to think of, of times that I haven't trusted God for bigger and greater out of fear or out of thinking that he's not going to come through. Let me just tell you something. Our God is a big God. He is a huge God. And when we're talking about living out in faith, sometimes we've got to step beyond ourselves. Now, the author didn't stop here. You know, we read that scripture, and yes, your faith, it's, it's things that we hope for, things we haven't seen yet, and we believe and trust in that, but there is a key in verse two that we often skip over, and maybe we haven't stopped to look at in a long time. 